Maria Amparo Escandon. Maria Amparo Escandon, born June 19, 1957, is a Mexican born American novelist, short story writer, screenwriter, advertising creative director, and film producer. Her award winning literary work is known for addressing bicultural themes that deal with the immigration experience of Mexicans crossing over to the United States. Her stories concentrate on family relationships, loss, forgiveness, faith, and self-discovery. A linguist with a sharp ear for dialogue, she explores the dynamics of language in border subcultures and the evolution of Spanglish. Her innovative and brand new style of multiple voice narrations and her cleverly humorous, quirky, and compassionate stories with a feminine angle capture the magical reality of everyday life and place her among the top Latin American female writers. Her work has been translated into over 21 languages and is currently read in more than 85 countries. Life and Education Her father, Julio Escandon, was a contractor in the construction business and her mother, Maria Amparo de Escandon, headed professional training for the Labor Department in Mexico. Maria is the eldest of four children and spent her childhood in Mexico City, jumping from one elementary school to the next due to disciplinary issues. Her vivid imagination led her to constant lying since she was seven years old, with the resulting problems both at home and at school. That was until her grandmother, Maria Amparo Obregan, taught her the difference between lies and storytelling. She said they are the same, but one is hurtful and the other is entertaining. The difference resides in the intention. Telling lies is not a bad thing, as long as everyone knows you made them up. Having received this approval to lie, Escandon began to write and found a creative vehicle for her fantasies. At the age of 13, she was sent to study in rural Minnesota, near the pig farms where she discovered the English language. Upon her return to Mexico, she read 100 Years of Solitude by Gabriel Garcia Marquez, and, under his influence, initiated her career as a narrator. Escandon studied communications at Universidad Anahuac and Universidad Nuevo Mundo in Mexico City from 1977. She was briefly married to Luis Eduardo Gill, and later immigrated to the United States, where she co-founded Ascento, currently one of the largest independent Hispanic advertising agencies in the U.S. with Benito Martinez Creel, who would become her second husband. She went back to studying but in the arena of visual arts. She took ceramics at the Otis College of Art and Design in Los Angeles, California, from 1983 to 1985. After living in the U.S. for 10 years and having published a number of short stories in Spanish, in 1993, she entered a creative writing workshop at UCLA University of California, Los Angeles Extension to learn how to write in English. Just a year later, in 1994, she was invited to become part of the teaching staff. To date, she continues to offer creative writing and magical realism workshops at UCLA Extension. Escandon has two children, Zoe and Iniki, by her ex-husband, Benito Martinez Creel, divorced in 2006. She currently lives in Los Angeles, California, and Mexico City with Pedro Haas. Literary career, film career. Escandon wrote the screenplay Santitos, based on her novel Esperanza's Box of Saints at the Sundance Screenwriters Lab. The film was produced by John Sayles and directed in Mexico by Alejandro Springall. The film was the third largest grossing Mexican film in Mexico in 1999 and was successfully released in Spain and Latin America in January 2000. To date, the film has received awards in 14 film festivals around the world, such as the Latin Cinema Award at the Sundance Film Festival, Best Film at the Guadalajara Film Festival, Best Actress at the Latin American Film Festival in Lima, Peru, Best Film at the Los Angeles Latino Film Festival, Best Actress at the Festival International, Escandon has recently completed the screenplay based on her novel Gonzalez and Daughter Trucking Company 
and the film is currently in active development at her own production company, The Other Truth Productions. Advertising Career Escandon began working as a copywriter in 1982 at Gutierrez Silva in Mexico City while studying her degree in communications. She moved to Los Angeles in 1983 to start Ascento, today one of the nation's top 20 full-service agencies serving the U.S. Latino and Latin American markets in areas like creative, media planning and buying, production, direct marketing, public relations, grassroots, promotions, event marketing, and entertainment. After selling Ascento in 2009 and complying with a three-year non-compete, she founded Ligas Delaney America in 2012, a joint venture with Ligas Delaney Limited, a London-based advertising agency owned and operated by Tim Delaney and Margaret Johnson OBE. The agency established in 1980 is known in the UK for its emphasis on distinctive creative work for luxury brands such as Patek Philip I, Glenfiddich II, Harrods III, as well as other brands including the British Red Cross IV, Intercontinental Hotels V, Timberland VI, Editis VII, and the Ecuador Ministry of Tourism VIII. The Ligas Delaney Group is privately owned with offices in London, Hamburg, Milan, Prague, Shanghai, Tokyo, and Los Angeles. Escandon, heading the Los Angeles office, is known for her views on consumer behavior and cultural developments that have reshaped the way brands communicate with their audiences. She has coined concepts like cyberhood referring to digital communities defined by lifestyle and preferences instead of age, gender, language, location, ethnicity, or any other demographics. In the cyberhood, consumers are masters of their programming, using available technology to decide what, when, and how to watch, listen, or play. Thus, the Internet has become the great organizer, facilitating better targeted ways for brands to reach out to their consumers and create bonds with them. Escandon's creative direction has produced award-winning ads in the United States and Latin America. Her client experience includes at and t 9 Nissan North America 10, Albertsons, Mackay Smart and Final, Southern California Edison, 21st Century Insurance, Epson, Bimbo Bakeries USA, Jarritos, Staples, Cassie Cheese, Carl's Jr., and In-N-Out Burger, among others. Her lifelong commitment to strengthening brands, grassroots, and public affairs has led to work for non-profit clients, namely Children's Tumor Foundation 11, Buenanuva Foundation, and Wings for the Soul. Wings for the Soul In addition to her writing, film, and advertising career, Escandon launched the first-ever prison book club and author series in 2005, Wings for the Soul, at the California Institution for Women in Corona, CA, made possible by the Women and Criminal Justice Network. Wings for the Soul gave inmates the opportunity to meet four times a year to read and discuss a particular book with the author. The books were primarily written by women and were mainly about women. Published work Esperanza's Box of St. Santitos in Spanish Simon and Shuster 1998 Gonzalez and Daughter Trucking Company Three Rivers Press 2005 Los Mammies Favorite Latino Authors Remember Their Mothers Edited by Esmeralda Santiago and Joy David O'Knopf, 2000. Filmography Santitos, 1997 screenwriter, actresses, 